Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Going Tall with Hamburg. We just watched Bohemia and the Teutons peace out of this silly war between Mecklenburg and Pomerania, and nothing came of it. Not a gosh darn thing came of it. If we wanted to declare Mecklenburg right now, which we can't because Austria is the emperor and Austria is in some random war, we can't declare wars in the, in the empire while the emperor is busy. Uh, if we want to declare on Mecklenburg, it would be him alone. It would not include the Teutonic Order, which is very sad, because the whole point of declaring on Mecklenburg is to get the Teutons into a war against us without having to fight his ally, Muscovy. Because Muscovy's scary as balls. It looks like that's not going to happen, at least not yet. So we can't feed these provinces back to our vassal just yet. Eh, someday, right? Someday. Someday. You'll see. It'll be better. In the meantime, we are colonizing the Caribbean. This is our fourth colony in the Caribbean. We get one more to get a colonial nation there. We're also colonizing North America. Well, I say colonizing in a very weak sense. If you see our little dudes here, we're coring. We actually took this land in war. We're also converting it. So we took one, two, three, four provinces in war. Those will core very quickly. And then we just have to get Pohatin to finish, which is almost done. And we'll have a colonial nation here. What we'll to think of a nice, cool name for Eastern America colonial nation? I don't know. Hamburger stand, maybe? Holland declared war on Brabant. Oldenburg joined the war. Burgundy joined the war. Fun. Okay, Austria is done with his war with Venice, which means it's time for me to declare on Mecklenburg. He still has no allies. Uh, are you friendly yet? Yes, he's friendly. Okay, Verden has flipped to friendly. That means I think he'll join my war. Let's make sure. Uh, yes and yes. Perfect. Although we don't need even we don't even need their help because the Teutons can't join against me right now. Oh, I really wish the Teutons would join. So Austria would help me against the Teutons. Bohemia would not, because Bohemia is in trouble. He's in debt. He's got a truce. And yeah. Oh, I really want to do this. You know, maybe it's worth a shot. Maybe we try it anyway. Verden would not help. Anhalt would not help. Oh, I just want to get this land back to my vassal. That's all. But I think the best thing to do is to wait until Muscovy is weak. Because right now, Muscovy is just too strong. Sweden wants me to support his independence? Uh, someday. Someday. How's our aggressive expansion looking? Uh, 25, 24. It's not that bad. <sighs> we really don't need to take this land by force. We could do, we could make him a vassal. I don't want to do that, though. Uh-uh. I'm just going to leave him alone. If I was able to set him as a rival right now, I would just go take humiliation and just be happy. But I can't set him as a rival right now. Ah, oh, so stupid. So perhaps we should focus on the new world then. I brought my 11 stack home for no reason. Let's go focus on the new world. Let's go explore for the seven cities of gold. That sounds like fun. France broke their alliance with Scotland. Really? Really? I am tempted just to no CB in there, but that would be silly. <laughs> oh, goodness. Poland declared war on the Teutons. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is it. It's on. Fucking Denmark versus Muscovy. Oh, it's on. I I'm going now. This is the time. Austria, let's do this, dude. Declare for Berlin. This is what we're waiting for. Someone to get involved. So my vassal, Brandenburg, I want you to siege Berlin, okay? I also want you to siege these and these. And I got to do this as fast as possible before Poland gets over here. Or else Poland will have his grubby mitts all over this shit. Yeah, look at that. See? He'll, he'll just siege it all down. Get the fuck in there right now. Can't walk there. Uh, can I go through Bohemia? I think so. Austria's in the war. Good, good. Come on. Come on. Yes. There we go. Thank you, Bohemia. Thanks for the access. Check mark on. Get Brandenburg to follow me around, maybe. And uh, I 
is he any better? 2-1. Oh, yeah, he's a little better. My, uh, what's his name? Syndic? Yeah, my Syndic, Florian Engel, is a little better than the Conquistador we have. Let's see. Absent Rhineland or lose Diplo points? Eh, absent. Real can money. All right, Austria, come on up, dude. Yeah, he's coming. Do you have any good generals? He's got a 0-1 and a 2-4. Oh, wow, that's a big discrepancy there. A 0-1 and a 2-4. Can I get access through Poland? You're goddamn right I can. This means I can just walk around anywhere. This is great. Okay, so we're off to a good start here. Muscovy did join against us, by the way. So this is our war. But look at Muscovy's wars. Look at that. Look at Muscovy's fighting Ragusa, Austria, Poland, Lithuania, Sweden, Norway, Denmark. Holy shit, you do not want to be Muscovy right now. I'm glad I'm not Muscovy right now. <laughs> Holy crap. Livonian Order is also in this war. I'm not sure what we should do about him. He's got like 15 troops. Probably just ignore him. Let's go to Tuchel. Take out a fort. I'm just making sure my troops get there before anyone else's. That's important to me. I want to have the war score here. I don't want my allies to have war score. I don't want my the other dudes in the war to have war score. Just me. Can you eat verdant? What? Hello, pilot. Conquer Riga? It's rightful Hanseatic clay. Yeah, but I'm not the Hansa. I'm similar to, but not equal to, the Hansa. England's got a read and see. That's fun. Poland's already there. Okay, we'll go to this one. Oh, fort down? No, it can't go that way. All right. It's too bad. What's going on? Something with Portugal? It's only a game. Why you have to be mad? Uh-oh. What's this? French conquest of Cogliari. France has declared war on Aragon for the southern half of Sardinia. So France is now fighting that. Oh, but France has Castile as an ally. You know what? This would be a good time to declare on Portugal for all of Caribas. I'm super serious. This is this is actually important. Because Castile and Portugal are historical friends, and they always have an alliance. They just broke that alliance to go to war with each other, which means no one's going to help Portugal if I declare on Portugal. His only ally is Aragon, and Aragon's fucking in the Mediterranean. He's going to get crushed by France. This is an amazing opportunity here. All right, well, before I do that, let's see what, let's see what it's only game. Why you have to get mad. Bawo says, well, felt like I have to do this before I go to bed. Feels like a ritual every time I watch the stream. By the way, I'll lurk on the phone, then I'll sleep. Well, thank you, Bawo. Enjoy your lurk. Target Austria. I said target Austria. And uh, I think I'm going to have Austria target Moscow. Austria cannot get to Moscow. To get to Moscow, Austria would have to go siege Rezev and then Riazan, and then he could walk to Moscow. It's really convoluted, but that's what he's got to do.
man, that opportunity with Portugal being at war with Spain, that's such a good chance for us to get in there. Wow. Don't forget to give Denmark passage so they can maneuver better. Denmark can suck my nuts, man. Fuck them. You guys want to be defender of the Protestant faith? <laughs> we don't need it. But it'd be funny. Nah, I don't want it because it's going to make text cost more. So Muscovy and Lithuania are surely fighting each other right now. Hey, Colony and Poetan is done. Nice. Nanticoke is cored. Potomac is coring. Manhattan's almost done converting to Protestant. And Boston's almost done coring. Nice. Why don't we use our diplomats for something? Also, I'm very sad that the Norwegian pretender rebels are no longer sieging Akershus. I really wish they would just get back down here and siege Akershus. They're over here. All right, well, they're going south. Well, there's only like 4,000 of them. They're going south. Hopefully they get back to Akershus. I want them to get that siege because it looked like, for a minute there, it looked like they were going to break out of Denmark's union because of that. But now it doesn't look so much so likely. Oh my goodness. Denmark is in very, very serious danger of losing his unions. He's only 25 years old, though, so he's got time. Oh, he's got the Rurikovich dynasty. Gross. And Poland has the Gosiewski dynasty. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. You didn't expect to beat up the Teutons so quickly? Neither did I. But the moment, the moment that Denmark, Sweden, Norway, Poland, and all those guys went to war with, with, with Muscovy, that was the time for us to do it too. I mean, it's like no brainer, you know? You gotta pounce on an opportunity like that. You have to. Fucking Ragusa just landed in Danzig. God damn it. That's probably worth a lot of war score too. Oh well. Oh well. Right, diplomats. Uh, Poland, relations, go. And let's get rid of our military access in Poland. I'm going to get rid of my alliance with Vert. Well, no, no, no. Well, yeah, get rid of the alliance with Verdun. We'll cancel the guarantee as well. Only in Martinique was attacked by natives. No, go away. Hey, we converted Manhattan to the one true faith. We could also convert the culture. I'm not sure if that's worth it, though. You know, it probably is. When we get a colonial nation here, they're going to have rebels because they don't have our tolerance. We have four tolerance, and we also have negative two revolt risk nationally because of plutocratic ideas. Our colony won't have that. So I think converting this for only six Diplo, that's worth it. That's worth it. Yeah, because then our colony won't have as many rebel risk. Just convert all that shit. It's so cheap. Hey, Berlin has fallen. So nice. So nice. Okay. I haven't seen Livonian order at all. What are they doing? We gained Massachusetts as a core. Very nice. Which means when this core finishes... Where is it? Here. When this core finishes, we're going to have a colonial nation. Oh, you know what that means, though? It means that we're not going to be able to finish this culture conversion. This is going to take two years, whereas this core is going to be done in... January versus November. Yeah, just cancel it. We can't do it. We're gonna have a colonization finish before the before the province changes. Oh well. Rip. Rip. Rip Rooney. Are we gonna take Donzig for ourselves? Nope. 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 It's not on my home trade node. I'm not gonna take it. Mm-mm. I'm a good boy. I can't believe Austria, I mean, France is allied to not only Castile, but Austria as well. Like, what the hell is France doing allied to Castile and Austria? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Come 
Come on, finish the siege. Damn it. Failed the siege. Tuchel's almost done. There we go. Alright. That should be pretty much it. I'm not going to go into Muscovy. I'm going to turn off my check marks. I'm going to let Austria go there if he wants to, but I'm not going there. Hey, idea time. What is this? Caravan power. Interesting. Free cities. Giving our cities self-governments in matters of trade will allow us to open new profitable trade routes. Caravan power. Wow, so inland trade is now worth a lot more. Holy shit. We're going to have to send merchants inland. Yeah, tr we have to go trade as the next idea group. We have to. I can call Anhalt into this war. I don't think there's any need. We have to go trade as the next idea group because we're going to need... I'm just going to take a guesstimate here. We need one here for the Amazon trade node, right? Amazon, yeah. One for the Amazon trade node. One for the Caribbean trade node. So that's two. One here, that's three. One there, that's four. One here, that's five. So we need five in the new world. At least five in the new world. And then we need one in North Sea. That's six. One in our capital. Seven. And then I want all these happy little trade notes here. Eight, nine, 10, 11. Holy shit. We're gonna need at least 11 merchants to control the trade that I want to control. And if we wanna stretch into the Baltic as well, then 12, 13, 14, 15. Shit, we're gonna need so much trade. Yeah, England came back strong. I'm happy for him, sort of. Goodbye, Teutonic Navy. You had a good run. We're going to get merchants from colonies. That's true, but we're still going to need merchants from the trade idea group. All right, well, that was pretty much the war. And the Mamluks just gave up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 provinces to the Ottomans. Yeah, that was a big war for the Ottomans. Holy shit. Why did you take that? Whatever, he can core it. So we haven't seen any of um, Muscovy's units yet. I assume it's because he's fighting Scandinavia right now. And it looks like those pretender rebels might be dead. Oh. Oh. Yeah, pretender rebels died. Darn it. I was really hoping for that to, to happen. But oh well. Meanwhile, Denmark is still very close to losing that those unions. I hope it happens. I want Denmark weak. Because I want to be able to take Sealand off of him. Without having to fight England and Poland at the same goddamn time. I mean, along with you know Sweden and Norway. Interestingly enough, Muscovy's not getting sieged. You can see Livonian Order getting crushed. Why isn't Muscovy getting sieged? Yeah, there's no units in here at all. Muscovy has nobody in Lithuania, and nobody has anything in Muscovy. Like, what? There's no one crossing the border here. They must be all up here. Nope, there's no one up here either. What the hell are they doing? Morocco started the conquest of Algarve against Portugal. See, this is this is what I'm talking about. Morocco has started a war against Portugal. That's what I want to do. I want to go to war with Portugal for Caraibas. And I think I will. I think I'm going to do it. I, I can't just sit around. We have to do that because this is such an opportunity here. Castile's already in Lisbon. Okay. Can we get another colony going here? And Moron is almost done, so we'll let that finish. And then we'll start two colonies at the same time down here. Well, maybe one down here and one in Canada. Yeah. Norway's not colonizing anymore? No, he finished the one colony and he stopped. 
He probably just won't colonize while he's at war. Spending money on troops and stuff. Yeah, Portugal went ham on Africa. Look at that. Look at Portugal just all over Africa. And Castile down here in South Africa. A couple provinces already. All right, Morona's done. Uh, let's go... Maybe Etchemins. Sure. Let's get Etchemins. And then as soon as he arrives, we'll steal him out of there. Um, can I recruit over here? Yeah. Let's just recruit a couple dudes. Won't need too much up here. Just a couple dudes. Maybe uh, maybe a Cav. Sure. And we'll use that as our little colonial protection army. Just like we have one down here. Yeah. Let's build one more Cav. Can I afford that? Oh, yeah. And then when the colonist arrives, we'll come back down here to probably Dominica and just keep colonizing these islands. And then we'll full annex Caribas. Because Portugal's not allowed to have those lands. I am. My Caribbean Sea. Lose stability or lose 60 ducats. I tell you what, I've got 60 ducats. <laughs> I'm okay with losing 60 ducats. I think we should build a fort here in Stetten, but I would just turn it off once it's done. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, we need a marketplace over here. Yep, yep, yep. Marketplace, okay. What can we do here? Workshop, marketplace. Could go for a dock for more ships, but I think I think I'd wait for the dry dock. Well, we don't need that. Local unrest, minus five. That's so dumb. I do want universities. We need to get to Admin Tech 17 to make development cheaper. Because that really is amazing. We're only six techs away, but we're look, probably looking at about 100 years before Tech 17. Maybe not 100, maybe 60 years before Tech 17. And that's when we're going to start developing like crazy, because it's going to be so much cheaper. Yes, I am the best whistler in the world. It's true. So Portugal's at war with Morocco, France, and Castile all at the same damn time. That's awesome. That's awesome. Ah, finally, troops have made it into Muscovy. Look at that. Livonian order should peace out soon, so let's pull back from, I guess, from Scotland at the end of the month. We'll see if Livonian order wants peace. He's already lost a fort. Yeah, he's not in good shape. Oh, shit, he just peaced out of the other war. Well, crap. That means he doesn't want to peace out of my war. Oh, Muscovy want pe might want peace, though. Yeah, Lithuania's up in here. What do you say, Muscovy? White peace? Nope. Oh, but he's thinking about it. He's thinking about that white piece, baby. God, we gotta get our power ejection going. Well, if we get enough war score here, we can humiliate and give the land back. Reformer praises the Church of Hamburg. One of our great thinkers at the forefront of the Reformation has recently held up our country as a good example of how others should follow in one of his publications as well as during a dis disputation. This will certainly strengthen both our international reputation and give further weight behind the authority of our church itself. Very nice. Gain church power or relation to all Catholic nations increased by 35. Relation to all Protestant increased by 35. Whoa, that's huge. Holy shit, I do not need that. Piss off all Catholics by 35? Nuh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, man, no. No, 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 no. Yeesh. Come on, finish the seat so I can go beat up Karibas. Okay, colonists arrive, very good.
And our colonial nation is about to spawn. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? As soon as this core finishes. Oh, well, that, that was nice. That, that works too. Check mark off. Musk, are you ready for peace, dude? Not quite, huh? He's almost there, though. Oh, what's this? Scottish Rebels? Yeah, Scottish Rebels in England. Nice. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five cores. Yep. There we go. Which means we did not finish converting the religion. Apparently it's called New Hamburg. We did not finish converting the religion of Nanticoke. That sucks, because it was almost done. But that's okay. We have a colonial nation now. Eastern America. So what do we call it? Well, I'm going to give it a default name, the Hamburger Stand. Because, well, that's where you go to get your hamburger, right? You go to Manhattan to get your hamburger. You go to Boston, get your hamburger. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. He's got 8.3 revolt risk. Where's his capital, anyway? His capital's Poetin. Okay. He accepts Susquehannock culture. He does not accept Poetin culture. He does not accept Mohican. He does not accept Micmac. Ugh. Gross. Yep. Not much we can do about that. Okay, so since our colonists have arrived in Etchemins, we're also going to rip them out and go to the Caribbean. Right down here to Dominica. Then we're going to come pick up these three guys and bring, bring them down to that island. But first, we need to bring over our 11 stack to go beat up Caribas. How many troops does Caribas have? That's an important question. 4,000. Perfect. But we're out of time for the episode today. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time. We'll be piecing out Muscovy and uh, going to war with Portugal for his colonial nation of Caribas. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.